Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Walter, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for a brand new blind bag video. If you guys are excited about this, leave a like. Let's go on ahead and aim for 1,000 likes and hopefully we can reach that goal. And today it is finally time to dive into minifigures series 16. And the reason why I'm saying finally time is, I mean, technically, look, they're very new. They just arrived in stores, but I have noticed that a lot of people, especially in the US, seem to get them for maybe like already two or three weeks ago. So it's been a while there. However, here in Canada, they just came out. So I finally got my hands on some. And today for the very first blind bag video, we're gonna be opening up five bags in total. So of course, if you guys enjoyed today's unbagging or blind bag video, leave a like and let me know if you guys are excited. So as always, of course, if you've never watched an episode of the blind bag videos right here on the channel. Essentially the way that they work is I cut the bag open just like so. Uh, then typically actually, since this is the first one, we're gonna take a look at this. I don't even know what the figure is, but essentially what I do is I close my eyes and then I pour out all the parts and I try to guess what minifigure it is. This wave has a ridiculously good roster of characters. Like there are so, so, so many really, really great characters available in this. I mean, let's take a look, shall we? All right, so first and foremost, you'll notice we have this Frost Queen, I guess maybe like Elsa inspired uh, queen right there. Then we've got this uh, warrior right here, looks cool. This got the cybernetic warrior, which I really do like quite a bit. Uh, we have a Halloween costume kid dressed up as, uh, I'm guessing like the devil or something, or like a demon of some sort. Uh, then we have got the uh, emo guy this time. I think we got the girl like two waves ago or so. Uh, this traveler right here, the hitchhiker, looks awesome. I really, really want that minifig. Then we've got this uh, aquarium or maybe penguin. Uh, operator or something like that with a little penguin. Then we've got the boxer girl, which is cool. I really can't wait to get the boxing glove. That's gonna be an awesome piece to have. Uh, then we've got this pirate right here, the penguin kid, which I really, really do wanna get. Then we've got uh, what I like to call Mr. Arrow because it essentially looks like a character from Arrow, but it could be like Robin Hood inspired or something, an archer, let's put it that way. Then we've got a dog competition uh, competitor who got first place, it looks like, with his little dog there. Uh, then we've got this uh, mariachi player, I think they're called. Uh, then we got the spy, the banana guy, which again is one that I really do want to get quite a bit, and the babysitter. So we've got a pretty awesome set of characters. Like honestly, there is no character here that I'm like, oh, I really don't want to get that character. Or there is no character in here that I'm like, oh, I really hope we don't get multiples of this. That's very rare. So I'm very, very, very excited about the potential of this wave. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with bag number one. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna go ahead and pour out the contents of bag number one. I'm closing my eyes already. And is it a good one? Is it a bad one? Uh, you guys know already. Um, all right, well, that's the torso piece. Uh, okay, I got a few parts right away. That's the base. That feels, hmm, that feels like a bandana type thing. And when I think of the bandana and the characters in this wave, I have to say that I right away kind of jumped to the pirate character, but I'm not sure. Let's feel around a little bit more before we make that judgment call. Okay, I think that's the head, I'm pretty sure. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, all right, well now I'm confident to say that it is the pirate. As soon as I picked up the sword, I know that this is the pirate. Now watch me be wrong. Three, two, one, yes! All right, so we're off to a great start. Got the first one correctly. That is awesome, and we got a pretty cool minifigure right off the bat. We've got the pirate character here. Well, I'm realizing, by the way, now it's not really a bandana. It's kind of more like a, uh, to emulate him being bald, I guess but I will say it does look really cool, actually. Turns out very well. I didn't even notice he has this little tattoo right there as well. Uh, then he's got his little treasure map right there. And no X on them. Oh, there is an X on the map, Never mind. Because usually it's a big red X. So, surprised that it wasn't. So here's our first minifigure, guys. We did very, very, very well here for our very first one. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. So that means that, of course, I forgot to bring my marker, but we would check off the ninth character. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a check mark here uh, after I record this to make sure that when next we use this list on the next blind bag video, if you guys wanna see more of them, we'll obviously have already certain characters checked off. All right, so let's move on. Here we go, bag number two. 
Let's see what we got. This one feels a lot bigger, so it'll be interesting to see what we get in this one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that, set that aside, and I'm gonna close my eyes. And I think that is all, I'm pretty sure. And let's see what we have. Whoa, okay, well I got a hold of a bunch of stuff, so let me just chill out for a moment. I think that's the head. That is the torso. Uh, those are legs. We have the base. Oh my gosh, please tell me that this is the banana kid or the banana guy. Three, two, one, yes! Okay, usually I never, ever, ever get this lucky with these types of characters. Where'd the head go? Oh, there it is, rolled off the screen. Uh, no, 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 okay, Ooh, I almost dropped it. Yes, this is so awesome. Usually, whenever I try to go for these characters, like whenever we tried to get the pig guy, remember? The guy in the pig costume? It took us like ages, so I really thought that would be the case here as well, but nope, we got lucky. That is awesome sauce. We got the banana guy already on our team. That is so awesome and cool. Obviously a pretty plain minifigure underneath in terms of just a green shirt and some blue pants, nothing too, too much to it, but mainly the part that you're looking for is this, of course. And to be fair, that uh, head is not bad either. You got some cool glasses, so that's kind of neat. And then of course the banana costume, which is just awesome. I love that little banana sticker as well. That is super duper cool. So there we go, that's our second one. So that would be figure number 15. Checked off the list as well, if my camera actually focused on that, but there we go. All right, so bag number three. Whew, we're off to such a great start. If we get the penguin kid this time as well, that's gonna be really cool. All right, I'm gonna get rid of the paper and closing my eyes. Please, if this is the Penguin Kid, I'm gonna freak out. Let's see, okay, there we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, we got a few things. Uh, all right, well, this is most likely a hairpiece of some sort, which doesn't really help because I have no idea. I mean, it's a very smooth hairpiece, but I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to think who, else, who had the hair pieces, but it could be like the cyber uh, soldier, maybe, like the one that's like a cybernetic uh, soldier. Those are legs. That's the head. What else do we have? Oh, okay. Well, we got a hold of a bunch of stuff. Uh, that's a base. Ooh, this feels like a spider. Hmm. Spider, who had the spider? Oh, the emo kid. Is this the emo kid? Three, two, one. Yes, all right, cool. So we are three for three right now. That is awesome. Wow, this figure is actually pretty awesome. I gotta say. Pretty well done. So that was the hair piece that we felt. The hair piece is like, usually it helps if, because a lot of series don't really have a lot of characters with hair pieces. Like even this series, if you look at it, there really isn't all that many hair pieces that characters have. Uh, I mean, well, I guess technically this character does have a hair piece as well. Yeah, now that I think about it, there are quite a few that do have it, but there's also a few characters that don't. Like, you know, if we look at it, these ones all do not have hair pieces, uh, sorry, hair pieces. So. In that regard, it kind of is uh, a little bit easier to deal with. Uh, how is he supposed to hold on to the book? I don't think he can actually hold this book, but it is cool that it says Spooky Tales on it. Uh, it does not open, even though it looks like, man, it does, oh, it does open. There we go. So you could go ahead and hide something in there. That's kind of cool. It's a massive, massive book, especially like when you compare it to the size of the actual minifigure. It's ginormous. It's like way, 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 way too huge. But I will say that the minifigure itself, very, very well executed, looks great, and very happy to add it to the team. So that was figure number five cleared out from our list. Not too shabby. All right, so three figures down. Let's open up bag number four, shall we? Oh, all right. Let's see. Hopefully we can maintain this positive momentum and continue not to get any repeats or anything. That'd be great. And I'm closing my eyes. Okay, that sounded like a lot of parts there. So, let's see what we have here. Okay, well that's a very unique piece and I have no idea as to what that is. I'm not gonna lie, I have no clue what that thing is. Uh, it just feels like a circle, like maybe that goes around the neck of the character. Uh, then again, this feels the same as well. Cause this feels like there's a little hole right here that you would put on like the neck of the character, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's the head for sure. Those are legs. What else do we have? That's a torso, that's the base. There's something else here. All right, hopefully this helps us. Um, all right, this is most likely the hair piece, I'm guessing, something like that at least. Um, 
not really sure what that is. I have no clue as to what that is. Maybe that's like something that goes on top of the head or something. I don't know. Um, and this feels, this feels like a pistol maybe. Ooh, ah, uh, man. I want to say the cybernetic robot, but we didn't feel, I don't know. Where was the hair piece? All right, I'm just gonna guess the cybernetic robot because I don't want to spend a bunch of time trying to look for the hairpiece, but I'm gonna guess cybernetic robot, like in the top row. Remember that like cool blue uh, haired character? That's what I'm guessing. Three, two, one. Oh, this is the spy. Okay, well, I got one wrong, so that's a-okay. Um, now I'm realizing what this was. This was actually a whip. Okay, now I'll know exactly what that is. So if we ever get that again, I'll know exactly what to look out for. So I have a little bit more knowledge now about that matter. Uh, we do have a little backpack piece as well. Man, this figure comes like loaded with accessories. That's awesome. So many cool accessories for this character. Very, very neat. There's so many components to this. It's quite cool. Look at that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that this character comes with. That is awesome. Very, very neat looking minifigure for sure. Let's zoom in to take a better look at that. I'm not really sure what that logo is, but it's got a cool like A logo and a whole bunch of like pouches and cool little things throughout the actual costume. A little watch right there. I love the backpack. That looks sweet. And then of course the little whip as well. That is really, really awesome. Just a great, great figure. And if you want, you could actually remove this little uh, goggle feature if you want, just like so. And you could just have him with a hair piece as well. It does look a little awkward because it's got the little dents for the uh, goggles, but I think that looks pretty awesome. This is a cool figure. Probably my second most favorite one of the bunch that we got today. Banana Guy is number one, of course, but that's probably second. All right, so that was figure number 14 that we would uh, check off the list as well. This bag feels really light, so I hope that it's not a repeat because uh, that bag felt really light as well, the first one, so we'll see. Here we go. All right, closing my eyes, guys. Is it a repeat? Is it a repeat? I'm guessing it's that same guy, the first one that we got. Okay, there's a lot. Oh no. I just felt something with the, like my middle finger as I walked. I was like, oh, what's that? Oh no, our first repeat. This is the spy. Yep, back to back too. I mean, like what are the odds of that? That is so weird. Cause I literally like randomly organized the bags. It's weird that we got them back to back. Fourth and fifth figure, we get a repeat. All right, I mean, again, like I mentioned, I really, really, really like this minifigure. There's a lot of really cool components to this. You could do a bunch of customs, like you could use a little whip for like a Catwoman figure or something. So there are plenty of applications that you could have for many of the accessories in this figure. So I do not mind that whatsoever. You could do like a cool splinter cell custom or something like that. That could look really neat as well. Uh, but obviously, uh, and getting a repeat is not the greatest. It would have been nice if we got five unique characters, especially since this is the first unboxing or unbagging. Usually you hope for just new characters, but you know what? At least we got really, really, really cool repeats. And this entire wave is cool. So I'm very happy with getting repeats of any of these characters. All right, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for watching today's blind bag video. If you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like. That would be very highly appreciated. I hope to see you lovely folks here next time. Peace out. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.